Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the installation of Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebook and we will also try to highlight the difference between them. Let's go to a web browser. I highly recommend Chrome or Firefox. Type Jupyter Notebook. The very first link would take you to the jupyter.org website. You would see different ways to get started with Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebook. Before installing Jupyter Notebook or Lab, first we should briefly go through the differences between them. Jupyter Notebook is a web-based interactive computational environment for creating Jupyter Notebook documents. It supports several languages like Python, IPython, Julia, R, etc., and is largely used for data analysis, data visualization, and further interactive, exploratory computing. Whereas, Jupyter Lab is the next generation user interface, including notebooks. It has a modular structure where you can open several notebooks or files, example, HTML, text, markdowns, etc., as tabs in the same window. It offers more of an IDE like experience. For a beginner, I would suggest starting with Jupyter Notebook as it just consists of a file browser and an notebook editor view. It might be easier to use. If you want more features, switch to Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab offers much more features and an enhanced interface, which can be extended through extensions. For the sake of this video, we will install both. Let's first install Jupyter Lab. We will install Jupyter Lab as a Python package. You can install it using pip, Python Package Manager, or Anaconda which is a distribution of Python for scientific computing. I use pip to manage Python dependencies on my system. Copy the pip install command and go to your terminal and paste the copied command. If you happen to like my terminal styling then you can go to my videos to configure itermin.file configuration. Before installing, I will start my Python 3 virtual environment by using an alias Py3. This will kickstart my virtual environment and I can maintain my dependencies without affecting my other project dependencies. If you install it without virtual environment, then you can install the package either at user level or system level. If you use pip install dash dash user then you would have to configure system path to include user bin folder. Since I have installed the package in my virtual environment, Python automatically adds the virtual environment path to the system path. As you can see, my current virtual environment path is included at the very top in the list of system paths. Type pip install Jupyter Lab and hit enter. Jupyter Lab installation will begin and it will install all the transitive dependencies. This could take few seconds. Here you go. Jupyter Lab is installed. Let's start the Jupyter Lab by typing Jupyter Lab, which will kickstart local server and host the lab on your local machine. On the left hand side panel, you would see all the folders inside the directory from where you ran the Jupyter Lab command. I have personal dot files and dot files folder since I ran the command from my forks directory. I am gonna create another folder Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab also provides access to Python 3 interpreter through its GUI. I am going to create a notebook file. You need to choose the kernel. Kernel is a computational engine that executes the code contained in a notebook document. IPython is the reference Jupyter kernel providing a powerful environment for interactive computing in Python. Select IPython as kernel. Now, we type our first line of Python code. Print hello world. Press shift return on your Mac machine to execute lines of code or press play button at the top of the notebook. Now, let's quickly install Jupyter Notebook. Type pip install notebook in your terminal. Since 
Jupyter Notebook is a subset of Jupyter Lab. You wouldn't have to install Jupyter Notebook exclusively. You can see all requirements are already satisfied. Let's start the notebook. Type Jupyter Notebook and hit enter. This will kickstart localhost server and host the notebook. You can see same set of folders as I had run the notebook command from my forks directory. I had created a file inside Jupyter Notebook folder while running Jupyter Lab. This is the one with print hello world. Let's move on to final step. If you want to quit the Jupyter Notebook or Lab, you can do that by simply going to terminal and typing control plus C and entering Y for yes. It will shut down the notebook gracefully. Jupyter Notebook is an awesome tool to practice Python coding and excellent tool for data science projects. In future, I will make more videos on data structures using Jupyter Notebook. As always thanks for watching.